Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna give you guys a quick demonstration of how to replace lifter valves, the hydraulic lifter valves in these things. Uh, it's the 4.0, and the reason we're doing it is we did the whole motor and one of the lifter valves actually went out. Yeah, and it only had 20 miles on it. So what I'm thinking is that the spring on it was just not good. So we're taking the top half of the motor apart. Uh, if you look at the video to show you right here, it'll show you, as you can see, the lifter valve's not opening and closing. So what we did is we did a hand crank on the motor to see, and the lifter was lifting the side of it because I held down the push rod. So I know it's the camshaft in there is working. So what we're gonna do is pull this up, take off the head, and we're gonna put new lifters inside, just for one or two of them, just in case. So what we're gonna do is take, take it apart and put the lifter inside, guys. Um, and the way it's done is we take off the belt, which is the tensioner and the pulley that's on the side here. Um, tensioner in there then we take off the belt take off the three bolts off the power steering pump take the four bolts off on the uh, AC if you have one um, we take off the bolts right around the valve cover um, and we took off here for the injector wires and everything we just pulled them out of the way it only took like five minutes to take them all out and pull them out so and then I just put the rods in and the valves but I did put new rocker arms on, which they should be here any minute when the FedEx truck gets here. But the simplest way to do it is do these half turn, half turn, half turn, take all these off. Make sure you guys put these in the same order. If you're gonna reuse them, put them on the same order. Lay out some cardboard, lay a table out and put them all down, mark front to back so you know which each one goes. And if you don't wanna do that, Show you guys real quick this is the reason i don't reuse them if you look inside here you can kind of see the grooves right there they kind of wore into there already if you look at the top of these they're getting pretty wore down they're silver you see kind of see how bright they are yeah so for me they got too many miles i'm just gonna for a hundred bucks I'm you guys gotta come with me stop hanging out over here so i'm gonna reuse the bolts and all these old rocker arms just gonna throw them in a box on this note guys you want to turn them off a little bit at a time and then remember where you took them off so you can put them back in the same spot If you like I did and you got a little bit of antifreeze down the oil, um, we'll just change the oil out, run it, flush it real quick, and then we'll change it out as soon as we're done. If you're still watching this for some reason, I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to pull these lifters out. Get yourself a magnet. And, oh, first go down and clean out your mess. If you got any oil in there.
Okay. You guys still watching this? Right down in here. Uh, okay. You watch it straight down here are your magnet. Pull them straight out. There you go. I don't know why that one wasn't pushing out oil, but instead of taking a chance, we're just putting a couple new ones in there. Okay guys, we are all got the valves in there. As you can see, we just pulled them out with the magnet. We put them back in. The one was kind of hard. I used, I used some long needle nose, kind of rotate it out of there due to the fact of it kind of warped at the bottom. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I'll see if I can put a picture of it right here. But now we're gonna put the gasket back in. So set it down, make sure everything's cleaned up as best you can. Put in the two little inserts. Make sure all your stuff is out of the way. Um, and on the gasket too, it tells you top or bottom, so which one's which. So we're gonna put this all in there. The hard part now is we're gonna put the gasket on top because that thing weighs heavy and it's kind of hard to do by yourself. But hey, we're gonna get it in there. Okay guys, make sure your bolts are waved off, the grease is off of them. Get them started. Ooh, hands are sore from that one. We'll fast forward through all this. You guys don't really want to see all this. Okay. Now that we're to the part of putting the head back on, head is sitting in there, uh, now we're gonna torque it. Okay, so we're gonna start out with 24 pounds of torque. We're gonna start right here in the middle. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna start with the fourth one, the middle one. We're gonna start on the inside, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're just gonna jump back and forth. So everything right now is at 20. So I'm just gonna put two fingers on it, pull it. Done.
done. And I put a little extension on there so I can tuck it to the end. So, I might be a little off on that one. Okay, so 25 right there. Now we're gonna move it up to 45. Okay guys, we torqued it at 25. Then we went to 45, went back around again, 45 again. Then we went to 100. Then after 100, we went back to 110. Now it's torqued down to spec. Okay. and. Always start in the middle, just go, it's a pattern. So it's one, across, move up one, move back one. Jump over that one that you already did, and then go across. Jump over the two you did, and then go across. Jump over the three you did, cross, or over the four, and like that. So it's a pattern, and just keep going in that order, and you'll be fine. And now, and that is it for the lifter. Uh, we got rocker arms. I gotta go see if they're here yet. What? They're supposed to be here a while ago, but besides that, we're just gonna put everything back together. And that's literally how you guys replace it. And we'll give you a video of how it runs once it's done here.